Here's an overview of my Model T. A few people have asked for a kind of a general overview of the car, so here it is. It's a 1924 Touring car. It was pulled out of a hay shed in 2016 and uh, probably placed there, best I can tell, sometime after the Second World War. Uh, there's a bunch of clues that sort of lend themselves to that uh, hypothesis, but uh, I don't have any solid proof of that. That's just my guess. Anyway, uh, the paint appears to be factory paint on the car, just based on other factory patina type finishes I've seen on Model Ts. It's got a lot of uh, farm damage to it, which I'm going to leave intact. It's got an auxiliary uh, aftermarket fender brace on it, which I think is cool. There's not much of an interior in the car. That's my next project. I have uh, done the wood in one of the doors. This is actually, uh, from what I can tell, a piece of some factory wood. But uh, anyway, the rest of the wood is, is uh, in the doors and the rest of the, the vertical slats here in the back of the body. They're, they're either rotten or uh, gone. So I need to get those done and then I'll put an interior in it. Not sure what I'm gonna do for the interior yet. Kind of torn on that. Anyway, the, uh, the wheels are in excellent shape. The rims are, the tires are new. The radiator's new. Front axle's been rebuilt. The front spring is actually brand new. Uh, the shackles are new, the spring shackles. Uh, the entire drive line has been gone through. Not rebuilt, uh, but freshened up. I do have that door, it's in the back of the cab there. It uh, doesn't have any wood in it, so it's not hinged or anything. I've just been clamping it on while I drive around. Uh, once I get some wood in it, then I'll put the hinges on it and mount it properly. I did prime it for a second before I started this video. So we'll see if she starts here. Notice this car runs a little bit rough, almost like there's a miss while it's cold. And then once she warms up, she smooths right out. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to look into that, but uh, it hasn't been a problem once she warms up. <clears throat> it's got a factory style horn on it. Uh -huh. Contacts need to be cleaned up on that. And I just recently put a uh, Model A style Uga horn on here. I uh, put this auxiliary gas shutoff valve on there so I don't have to climb under the car all the time. Anyway, she is uh, showing her farm usage. There's a weld in the fender there. There's a weld in the fender here. But as far as cancer goes, there is none on this car. And that's what's remarkable about it. There is no rot on this car. And that comes from sitting in a West Texas hay shed for decades and decades and decades. And it's all wearing this kind of freckled, patinated look, which I love. Looks like some kids shot it with a pellet gun or something. They don't look big enough to be even 22 rounds, maybe 22 rounds. Uh, the rear axle's been, I rebuilt the rear axle and re, 
I took the rear leaf springs all the way apart and reconditioned them and put uh, graphite slip paint in between the leaves. Uh, since I've been driving it, the left side has sprung a leak in the grease seal. I need to get that fixed before I mess around with it too much more. And I'm sure you'll notice those that are astute on proper items for years. You've probably seen a few things that don't quite go. Uh, this car was used back in the day and uh, probably used on a cotton farm from what I can tell. I actually did find cotton jammed up in some of the body crevices underneath the car. Anyway, that's my uh, 24T. It's the first Model T I've ever owned. I've had to learn a lot about them, but uh, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll see me driving it around and stuff. It's a lot of fun. And uh, probably one of the, the more fun uh, antique cars I've ever owned. Anyway, uh, that's how she sits now here in the middle of this uh, COVID apocalypse. And uh, I'll maybe make another one of these after I get an interior and a top put on it. Thanks for watching.